Module 5, Lesson 16, Homework. Number 1, use a straight edge and the grid paper to draw. A trapezoid with exactly two right angles. So this lesson here is all about trapezoids. So let's just define what a trapezoid is before we get started. So a trapezoid is a has four sides and at least one pair of parallel sides. So it could have one pair of parallel sides or it could have two pairs of parallel sides. So if we're going to draw a trapezoid with exactly two right angles, I'm going to start by drawing a line and then I'm going to make sure they have two right angles. So there's a right angle, there's a right angle. And I don't want any more, so I'm going to extend that one out. And maybe I'll make that part a little longer. And now I'm going to connect them. So this is a trapezoid because it has at least one pair of parallel sides. These two sides are parallel. And then it's a trapezoid with exactly two right angles because there are two right angles right there. A trapezoid with no right angles. So now it needs to just have one pair of parallel sides but no right angles. So here's my parallel sides. These two are parallel. They will never intersect. I mean, it does not have any right angles. Kaplan incorrectly sorted some quadrilaterals into trapezoids and non-trapezoids as pictured below. Circle the shapes in the group that are wrong in the group and tell why they are sorted incorrectly. So let's look for the ones that are trapezoids. So we're looking for at least one pair of parallel sides. So this one has parallel sides. That's a trapezoid. These two sides are parallel, so that's a trapezoid. See, these two sides appear to be parallel, so that's a trapezoid. These are parallel, that's a trapezoid. And this last one does not have any pair of parallel sides. So I would say, it says, tell why they're sorted incorrectly, so I would say no parallel sides. And then let's look at the ones that he sorted as non-trapezoids. So he says that this is not a trapezoid, but it is a trapezoid because it has at least one pair of parallel sides. It has two pairs of parallel sides. So that's sorted incorrectly. This also has two pairs of parallel sides. So this one's sorted incorrectly. Um, I believe this one, I don't see any pairs of parallel sides, so we can leave that one alone. And then this one was also sorted incorrectly because they have at least one pair of parallel sides. Explain what tools will be necessary to use to verify the placement of all the trapezoids. So if we wanted to verify, we could use, uh, maybe you've been using in school, a set square. Um, that would be to make sure, or, uh, well, let's just say a set square or a protractor. To measure the angles. And maybe we're using a ruler for straight lines. Um, there's a lot of different tools that you could be using. Number three, use a straight edge to draw an isosceles trapezoid on the grid paper. So an isosceles trapezoid, let's go on down to part B. So an isosceles trapezoid means that the opposite sides are the same length 
or a fancy word for that is congruent. And the basis are parallel. So basically it has one pair of parallel sides We can also, if we want to talk about the angles, we can say the angles on either side of the bases are congruent. So let's go ahead and draw one. So basically we're just looking for is the opposite sides are the same length and the bases are parallel. So really the one that we drew up here, right there, that's an isosceles trapezoid. So let's just draw it again. I'll explain why it is in just a second. So this is an isosceles trapezoid because the opposite sides are parallel. So it has one pair of parallel sides. And then these two sides right here, that side and this side, the opposite sides are congruent. Um, the angles on either side of the bases, so these two are the same. And then these two angles are also congruent. So there is an isosceles trapezoid and an explanation of what that isosceles trapezoid is.